Hello, my beautiful Aries. Welcome to your bi-weekly love forecast horoscope for March 29th to April 11th. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. If you would like a live person read with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkers.com, or check out the description box below. Also, my beautiful darlings, if you're a fan of the mysteries or unsolved true crime stories, I just released another reading on there. Oh, okay, what's this about spirit? King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, some sense of wisdom. We see something to do with something stable. Okay. And then we see there's some good news. King of Pentacles energy. We're going to see how that plays out in your situation here. So I just released a reading on there. It is the Bell Witch. So if you guys are interested in finding out the truth behind that situation, I did do a tarot reading on that as well to find out what was happening. So if you guys are interested, all the information is in the description box below. If you guys say hi to me on there, I'll say hi to you as well. All right, so as you guys know, I do read my comments. So, all right, so we're gonna be looking first at the astrology for the next few weeks. And um, this can be any message that could come out, okay? And then we're gonna look at your romantic love life and we're gonna see who's coming towards you, what's influencing your romantic love life, and some advice here. And what's gonna happen with the situation in the next two weeks. So my darlings, if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, so how is the astrology going to be affecting Aries from March 29th to April 11th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, we're going to use three different decks here. How is the astrology going to be affecting Aries from March 29th to April 11th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. See, we're also using the Kipper deck, and we're also going to use these cards as well. How is the astrology going to be affecting Aries for their astrology, whatever they need to know, for March 29th to April 11th? Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. Let's take a look here. Let me move this out of the way. Okay, so we got the fourth house. The fourth house is ruled by the moon. Okay, the fourth house has to do with happiness, home, a mother, comforts, wealth, okay, cars, you know, comfort of life. And definitely this is the house of your happiness. If you guys didn't know, the fourth house is the house of happiness. And it's also to do with the real estate as well. Okay, so we got Capricorn, which is the 10th house. That has to do with um, father. For some astrologers, they see the 10th house as the father house. And some see it as the ninth house. We got the workplace, we got success in business, okay, the nature of your work and job, okay. And then we got the sixth house. Now the sixth house is the healing house. It's also the house of you, you know, overcoming enemies, okay, servants, okay, this can be small pets too. Um, this also can be uh, dealing with uh, issues, okay, disputes and stuff. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. And let's also look at these cards as well, okay. So we got the world card energy. We have the ace of wands. We have the seven of wands. Isn't that interesting how it's aligning with the six of so, a six of a six house there? Where I said it, it deals with um, disputes, and then the seven of wands is right below it. That's very interesting. Okay, and it's interesting because the ace of wands has to do with anything you feel passionate about, right? Anything you feel very creative about. This also is a, a card of definitely opportunities, right? So again, we see this journey card energy. We see the sense of sadness here, and we see some kind of change. Okay, so some of you guys are moving locations because of a job, okay? Uh, it does look like you're being influenced and you're feeling sad about this situation, but there is massive changes here. It looks like you're going to be able to defend your position and you're going to beat your enemies here with the sixth house energy. Yeah, because the opposition card is saying that you're able to overcome this opposition and there's massive change coming in for you guys. Okay, I can see this in another way as well. Um, this can be house or home, okay, some kind of real estate, some kind of business opportunity here. It looks like you're going to have to argue and fight your point to be able to obtain this opportunity. Some of you guys are buying this property far away from home with the world card energy, and this is going to be a massive change, but it's going to be a good change and a, a very good opportunity there for some of you guys with the, key, uh, with the Ace of Swords energy. Um, there's going to be a sense of accomplishment here and a happiness around this situation, even though at first it may cause a sense of sad news or concerns about some kind of sad news. 
they're saying that you'll defend your position, you'll beat the situation, and you're going to uh, see that there's going to be this massive change. I get the sense that you're moving, progressing forward here, and uh, definitely you're going to win the situation here because we got the Six of Swords, excuse me, Six of Wands, and uh, excuse me, Seven of Wands with the uh, Six House. You know why I said Six? Because it's Six House here. And also I can even just pick up here on this, this situation. I feel like what's going on, okay, is something that was kind of hidden to you, okay, around this situation is going to come to light. Some of you guys, your ships are coming in, okay, and there is this uh, thing that you've been building here. Um, I get the sense that things have gone slower than you've liked it with, uh, uh, I get the sense with this particular card, and it looks like there is now a path here to an opportunity that has caused you some kind of issues. I get the sense that, yes, you are completely imbalanced. It looks like you have now the information. You are completing a cycle here. You're accomplishing something around this situation because you're fighting for what you truly want. And you're able to have the opposition and win this situation, which brings positive change to you. So let's find out some advice here for your, uh, for your uh, astrology here. So we see there's an opportunity here that, and this is, there's gonna be an accomplishment here and you're gonna have the winning position just to be clear cut about that. Okay, so let's get you guys some advice around this. Can I have some advice to my Aries when it comes to astrology for March 29th, April to April 11th for their highest, best good, the best possible outcome for them? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. There it is again, talking about, get ready for this massive change, guys. There's the adjustments, okay, that you're going to have to defend your position around. And in it's saying you're going to have a win here because it's saying you're going to be able to see the forest before the trees. So be open to this, okay? Listen to your intuition. So at first, you're not going to realize it, but the adjustments will be made and then things will open up and then you'll see, oh, okay, I can win this situation. I'm going to achieve this goal. All right, so let's move into your romantic love life here, Aries. All right, so what's going to have my Aries romantic love life for March 29th to April 11th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Also, I wanted to make note again, if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in here. So we got the Ten of Pentacles. We got the Judgment card. We have the World card. Okay. We have the Seven of Swords, okay. We have the High Priestess card energy. Let's move this over so you guys can see this a little better. We have the Nine of Wands. We have the Two of Wands. We have the Three of Swords. And we have the Four of Wands, wow. Okay, so we got the Two of Pentacles. Who's coming towards you? Okay. This is like the the uh, the devil card energy here for this deck. Okay, so we got the advice of the page of cups energy. Wow, we got the this magic here, this manifestation here. Someone really wants to fight for the situation. We see that there is a fortunate situation or luck is on your side here. Okay, something you've been waiting for, something you've been patient around. Okay. Who's coming towards you? It looks like there has been some issues between you and this person, right? Some sense of um, going back and forth. It seems like a very aggressive energy here. Uh, let's get a little bit more information about this. It looks like definitely your influence, your romantic love life is some kind of juggling about some heavy decision. Pentacles have to do with money, family, children, long term, okay? And we got the Ten of Pentacles, which talks about something pertaining to family. Okay, something has grown, some kind of abundance here. Remember, Ten of Pentacles has to do with family, has to do with abundance, okay, something that's being accomplished or completed here. Okay, yeah, wow, we also have the World card. That's the higher octane of the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so what's kind of my Aries Romantic Love Life, March 29th to April 11th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Let's get more information here, Aries. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, 
I just want to get more information about who's coming toward you here. Okay, so who's coming toward you? It's someone that you felt sad about. Someone's been depressed about this situation. Uh, so there's been issues with this person, okay? And sadness and depression around it. Uh, that's the person who's coming towards you. Ten of Pentacles shows me that there has been some kind of ending. We're looking at the scenario here, what's going on. So some kind of ending, stopping, completion here uh, when it comes to family. Because some of you are been juggling a decision because of a father energy or someone who's been trying to give some kind of good advice here. Um, so it's like, I, get, I feel like this person's been trying to give you the courage, strength, or confidence to make this heavy decision. We see main person, there's somebody who's apologizing to you um, and something's gonna go in your favor. Now, some of you are receiving some kind of judgment here, um, possibly surrounding money or finance there with the 10 of Pentacles energy. I know we're talking about romance, but it's very clearly that there's some kind of court situation for some of you guys. Okay, because this is also the judgment card energy. We see that there was some kind of ending around the situation, some kind of uh, some kind of completion that happened here. Uh, this is the ending, stopping, completion card. Okay, main person, and now we see there's an apology. Something's going in your favor. There is something that's going to be completed in a cycle here with the world card energy. So we see this family long-term situation. Someone wants to apologize. Um, they may be traveling to, towards you with the world card energy. Remember the world card is when you, let's say you're dating someone and um, you, uh, you know, this person wants to be engaged or let's say you're engaged with someone and someone wants to get married. That's the world card. It's when you get accomplished or completed in a situation. So something is being accomplished or completed because there's an apology coming in. Someone's looking at the situation like, I know we had this ending, you know, this ending of this family situation. I want to apologize to you. I want to complete this cycle. I want to accomplish something in this connection. I wasn't telling you the truth and they're going to have a conversation with you. There's going to be a meeting about this. And we see intuitively you've, you're picking up on something with the high priestess card energy where there is, there was some lying and deceptions and some secrets here about this situation, which we are very cautious about. I'm gonna get a little bit more clarity on this, okay? Let's have my Aries Romantic Love Life, March 29th to April 11th. Show my cards you need to see, show my cards you need to see. Let's clarify what this is about, okay? So there's someone who is very obsessed, strong desires, that makes sense of this card. Strong attachment, can't stop thinking about you. The timing is right now. They want to uh, come forward here. They want things to go in their favor. They've done a lot of soul searching here. Uh, there's been this isolation or separation between you and this person. Seven of Swords, there has been some deception, some kind of lying about some kind of uh, people involved in the situation where uh, this person's letting you know they're talking with you about this lying deception or something that's been hidden to you. This is something you have been patient about. There's some kind of investment time here. We see you're at a crossroads because of the concerns of the secret and giving to this energy. Um, and we see also for some of you guys, you're receiving an invitation to do some kind of traveling here. Okay. Or you may be giving an invitation to this person to travel. There is a crossroads around this and there's a little bit of cautious defensive energy about this travel, this movement or change. Definitely looks like someone is going to be apologizing to you, wanting to reconcile here with the judgment card energy coming out again. Okay. And um, I can see here with the Two of Wands energy that there is a decision that's being made here. And it's really hopeful here with Star Card energy. They want to have a conversation with you about this choice. Now, this can be to do with a sister, a daughter, okay? This can be to do with another person, a friend or an infringing party, we see, which has caused some kind of heartache and sadness here. And we see new love or an offer of love here, Ace of Cups energy. So you have this scenario going on in the next few weeks where you're dealing with somebody that wants to apologize, someone you've dealt with before, and it's someone that you've been separated or isolated from. There's been a very obsessive kind of energy around this. But then we see there's also potentially a new love connection here with the Ace of Cups energy. We see that there is this very stable energy coming in for a wands. 
This has to do with a house or home, or this new love could be somebody who's close to home. And it looks like there's feelings developing here, okay? So let's bring it all together. I'm obsessed with you, Aries. I've been patient. I want to have a conversation. Timing is right. You're at a crossroads because of a new love here, and you really are thinking about this situation, about this apology and these feelings that they're sharing with you. We see there's a hopeful energy when it comes to your romantic love life. It's making you completely happy. There is a lot of happiness around your romantic love life. It's happening all of a sudden. There's a sense of healing here. And it's a bit of a shock and surprise because you're going to have to make a decision about this. And you're a little bit worried and stressed because of this family situation. But there's such strong chemistry and passion. So we see that there is this, there is this ending, this completion of a situation, a conversation that's taking place that's very hopeful with the main person. There was some kind of giving or appreciation or uh, wanting to give to a new person. We see judgment talks about a reconciliation, a healing, okay? And we see that there is some travel, there's some changes here, and we see something to do with house and family going on. Going further. This family situation, the sense of abundance, I wasn't telling you the truth. Please make a choice here. I humbly want to apologize. There is some kind of secret, something hidden about the situation or a sense of air of mystery around this that's caused a lot of heartache here and sadness within this person. I want to accomplish something in this connection. I want to travel towards you. I want to um, bring a completion or I want to complete this cycle with you. You're very cautious, defensive. Because of something to do with a marriage, a happy home, a solid foundation here for Wands energy. We can see that you have to make some kind of decision here. We see a person card, someone who's trying to give some kind of good advice. You're trying to get some kind of knowledge about how to do this. This person who's coming towards you has been isolated or sing, uh, separated here with the single and available card. Your advice here, and here we go with the ex-partner card, is... You have some good news. It could be seeing something to do with the Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. It is saying that you need to resolve the stuff from the past. Now, it isn't. if it's not saying be with this person, for some of you it could be saying be with this person with the Page of Cups energy, but it is saying that you need to resolve some of these things from the past. It's saying there's knowledge of this person single and available to pursue, and we see this ex-partner here, okay? So I'm gonna get a little bit more information about this advice, but let's go down with the numbers here. Tens talk about something being accomplished or completed. Seven talks about thinking and contemplating about this choice. Something is going in your favor. There's been this air of mystery, this secret, but now you're finding out about this heartache and this sadness. Something will be accomplished or completed, or a cycle is about to be completed in your romantic love life. Nines talk about fulfillment of desires towards a solid foundation, um, a happy home, four wands energy, or marriage offer here with the four wands energy for some of you guys. Looks like you could have more than one choice or option for some kind of stable situation here. And we see this obsessive kind of energy, someone who, um, you know, can't stop thinking about you. There's a sadness around this. Okay. Let's move this out of the way. I want to get some advice for you guys. Can I have some advice when it comes to Aries for their highest best good, for the best possible outcome for them? For March 29th to April 11th, show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, what's going on here? There's gonna be some kind of reprisal. You can bring things into balance. You will expect a victory here. Be patient, don't rush into anything. See how things are going to play out here. Don't have any preconditions. Understand that things are not going to come together the way you expect it to. When it comes to what you want, you desire. There's a gift coming here. Get ready to receive some kind of gift here. Don't let this affect your ego. Give yourself some time alone to think about this. You have abundance coming towards you. But you need to be impartial about the situation so you can make a healthy decision. Because there is a sense of overindulgence here, of love. 
you got to make a choice here. But you got to do it from a pure place. We see the virtue card. All right, my beautiful Aries. I love you guys so much. I do read my comments, guys, so I do love hearing from you. I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below if this resonates with you. Um, if you want to claim this message or you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. Also, my darlings, for those who are members of my, uh, my YouTube membership, they have the join button below. The only reason I mention that is because some of you guys had asked me in the comments. Uh, I have uploaded a bunch of content on there, guys, so it is up and available for you, you members. So I'm just letting you guys know. And also, again, if you want to check out my second channel, JWZ Mysteries, I would love to see you guys over there. Um, definitely have more to come over there. I love you guys so much. There's multiple things for you guys to watch right now. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.